Guys, thanks for bringing me along. I don't think I've seen your parents since Bruce and I moved into that place our junior year. Uh-huh. Ooh, crepes with mascarpone. <laughs> yes, please. So you guys thinking like a pitcher of bloodies or should we do the bottomless mimosas? <laughs> yeah, dude, she sounds crazy. I'd recommend the bloodies. Thank you. Is this gonna be one of those conversations where nothing I say really matters because you're oh, not Oh, they just parked. Oh, oh, shit, okay, all right, get ready, get ready. Put your phone away. Yeah. Guys, relax, it's just your parents. Uh, yeah, Terry, um, actually there's something we should probably fill you in on. We, we lie to our parents. Guys, I think everybody lies to their parents. No, we only lie to our parents. They know our names and that's about it. Well, well, that seems unhealthy. Maybe no time for whatever idea that was going to be. Quick. I'm a very successful actor, right? And I keep getting Netflix shows, but my scenes keep getting cut. So that's why they can't see any of it. Also, I told them you're my agent, so, you know, be prepared for them to blame you for everything. I'm not comfortable lying for you. I, I'd recommend the truth. Stay out of it. Oh, also, you and I have been dating since I divorced Dan, and I have so many men interested in me that you have to buy me a bunch of shit a bunch of nice shit to keep me interested. Oh, and you're rich. You should probably get the check today. Uh... Hey! Hey, how's it going? What's up, Pop? Oh, hey. How are you? Good. Hey, Mom. Hi. Well, Terence, don't just sit there with your mouth all agape. If you're not going to offer my daughter a ring, you can at least offer me a drink. Kenny just got into state. That's all your cousins that are in prison. Tell us about the exciting world of acting. It must be so much fun. What's that show you just did? We, we see it on Netflix all the time. Uh, Peaky Blinders. Ooh, that looks so good. I can't wait to see you in that. Oh, shoot. Sorry, Mom and Dad. They cut all my scenes out of that one, too. What? Uh, yeah, I know. And uh, But you wouldn't be able to understand it anyway. It was in British. What a bummer. And after they just cut your scenes in, what was it? Oh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, we were pretty upset about that one, too. But... Ah, if only I could get my agent over here to start putting pressure on these producers. <laughs> ah, come on, get this boy on the screen. Look at his face, isn't he a star, am I right? He, that natural. <laughs> it seems that with his talent, you might at least be able to offer him some paying work. You're not totally inept, are you? I was hoping you might be able to provide at least one of my children something. Screen tests, and then the lighting with the cost of that and the clicky th sides. Wow, I love the showbiz lingo. It, it makes me feel like I'm on Hollywood Squares, am I right? <laughs> now, Laura, tell us, how are things going with you? Oh, I mean, uh, work's been pretty no. interesting. Uh, no. How are things with you and Tara? Of course that's what you meant. Any chance he's going to pop the question? Mommy's sitting right here. I know. Never hurts to put ideas in their heads. You know, sometimes I think your father wouldn't make up his mind at all if I weren't here to make it up for him. That's my lily pad. She's in charge. I love every second of it. Whatever happened to that Daniel boy that we liked so much? Uh, we got married and then we got divorced and you were there for literally all of that to be the wife of a high-powered attorney. Tell me, Terrence, can a talent agent provide for a wife and family? Hey, can I get <laughs> another one of these? Laura, it's nearly 10 a.m. Do you really need another glass of tomato juice? She'll just have the vodka. Uh, and we all, are we all ready to order? Yeah, uh, the lady will have the Salmon Benedict holidays on the side and I will have the Denver omelet but I'd like it here in town <laughs> you better bring another round of drinks 
Laura, will you be needing a plate with your food or will you be needing a trough? Oh, the crepe strawberries. Trough is fine. I'll have the chicken and waffles. And you, sir? Egg. Eggs? Egg. And how would you like that egg? Eggy? Excellent choice. All right, well, I'm not going to examine that any further. It's an excellent choice. And I'll go explain that one to the chef. Oh, thanks, Improv. Oh, London calling. I, I've got to take this. Excuse me, everybody. And I will take this as my cue to exit to the ladies' room. Don't get into any trouble while I'm gone, young lady. Huh. Well, that was wildly convenient. No, it wasn't. What do you mean? I texted Michelle to call Dad. He always answers on their numbers. The mom always uses the bathroom after her first drink like clockwork. Whoa. I guess I never noticed that. Well, at least I'll always have sneaking. Wait, who's Michelle? One of my friends. I have other friends. You have other friends? Yeah, I don't only hang out with you two. I'm a complicated lady with a full life. Terry, how you doing, buddy? L like bad. <laughs> Is he a caveman now? It's going to be OK, buddy. It'll be over soon enough. I'm not so sure about that. What do you mean? I don't know. Mom's been asking us a lot of questions. She never shows this much interest in our life. She never cares. You're right. Last time they asked us this many questions is when, it's when they were making that living will. Oh my God, they want to have a serious talk. Exactly. I don't know what this is though. Are they getting a divorce? Did Grandma Queenie die? No, not Grandma Queenie. Yeah. She's my favorite. Bruce, she definitely shot Grandpa Joe. I know, twice, and I wanted to ignore it. She's so good at baking. Well, whatever it is, they're going to spring it on us soon. Unless... We spring something on them first. What did you have in mind? Terry's gonna propose. What? What? Laura, that is crazy. Crazy enough to work. With these two, you have to plan shit out like a war zone, and every war zone needs a contingency plan. Wait, did you steal my copy of Art of War? You were never gonna read it. Anyway, whatever news they have, they're gonna keep themselves. Nobody wants to ruin their daughter's engagement. Oh my god. That might actually work. Ooh, brunch proposal. I'd recommend a kava for the table. Really? <laughs> well, actually, I wouldn't recommend proposing at brunch, but if you're gonna do a brunch proposal, I'd recommend the kava. <laughs> Just tell your parents the truth. <laughs> you have no idea how ridiculous you sound right now. <laughs> oh, put the ring away, they're coming back. Thank you. That was the rudest bathroom attendant I have ever met. Mom, they don't have bathroom attendants here. Oh. Well, then I really shouldn't have tipped. So, Bruce, Laura, your mother and I have something that uh, we'd like to... Actually, Dad, Terry has something that he wants to talk about. Uh, he told me about it already because we talked about it before, and that's something that two grown men talk about in private. Right? And Terrence, is this true? I... I, I, I want, um, uh, <laughs> dog with a fella? Oh, no. oh what, it, what is that? Is that? Is that a ring? Oh, it was this happening? That ring looks familiar. That isn't the ring that Dan gave you, is it? Yeah, no, he just bought it. Um, a I was... a heirloom. I see it's an heirloom. <laughs> 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 Uh, m m Mr. and Mrs. Kaplan, every everyone, Laura, Bruce. Hey, buddy. I, I feel, uh, no, that is, Laura and I, uh, Webster's Dictionary defines love as, uh, uh, maybe we should order some champagne here, help them get this thing going? I'd recommend the kava. It's a proposal, not a boat christening in Madrid. Your daughter and I are just having sex. 
I, I lost my job and we, we all started this detective agency together and Laura and I are just having sex. I mean, it started as just hand stuff and then slowly progressed. Not because she's beautiful, because, you know, I'd only been with my ex for the last six years and I thought maybe I'd forgotten how to do it in Newsflash. I haven't. And Bruce isn't in Peaky Blinders because they film it in England and how could you not know that? And none of us have our lives together, but we're kind of happy. I mean, some of the time and you kids lie to you because they want you to love them, but I can't lie and I'm very dizzy and I'd like to sit back down now. Thank you. Oh, thank God. What? For a minute, I thought you were going to reveal that Adam's apple over here had knocked you up. My money was on Bruce and Terrence being a couple. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, hey, we, we voted for Obama. Well, second term anyway. Wait a second. You guys aren't mad at us? Yeah, we've lied to you for years. And you're good at it. Which means that we have succeeded as parents. You know, lying is the third most important skill in business today. The first two are handshakes and drunk golf. But Mom, I'm single. All you ever do is talk to me about how I should have a... I have never been concerned with your ability to survive. I'm concerned that you don't value yourself enough to find someone who loves you for you. I'm gonna cry right now. I'm sober and I'm gonna cry. How does that even work? Wait. Dad, you're not disappointed that I'm not a working actor? Percy, there are no working actors. Only 5% of you make any money at all. And besides, this detective thing sounds really promising. You can set your own hours, more time to go on auditions. <laughs> Listen to me. Go on auditions. I, I sound like Peter Sellers. I'm just glad we don't have to lie anymore. Yes, well, you should be. You're no good at it. Now, Laura. You're sure about this one? Wait, I'm sorry, we only did this to avoid hearing your news. Yeah, what was the big deal that you guys wanted to talk about? Oh. Your father and I have decided to become swingers. What? Yeah, we went to what the kids call an ayahuasca retreat. We had a heck of a time. Your mother, sweating in the moonlight. Aww. Dad! I'd recommend not thinking about it. It's a proposal, not a boat christening in Madrid.